So today guys we are taking a look at another new weapon exclusive to Mayhem 2.0 which drops at a level 6 or above. There are 8 in total and to be honest for the most part I've been let down by them. Is this one though any different? How's it going guys my name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the Monarch is a Vladov assault rifle which at first sight looks a lot like the amazing designed Dictator, but it isn't just its design which is kind of similar. Now this Monarch is an exclusive drop like I said on Mayhem 6 or above and it drops from Killavolt, who can be located upon Electro City and it can drop offering all elements too as well as no elements. It comes as far as I'm aware in two different variants, a 4 times and an 8 times. The 8 times though I do believe swallows 2 ammo per shot at the same time. So looking at this it looks a lot like the Dictator, firing it, it also has 2 modes like the Dictator. One mode shooting at its standard of 4 times, 4 bullets per single ammo consumed and then it has that bipod mode which means it takes away basically all mobility meaning you can't run or jump but it changes the weapon into at least an 8x variant so 8 pellets or more all generated from a single ammo usage. Now I can only imagine the standard 8x variant would double up to that 16 in that bipod mode at least so that could be pretty interesting but this thing does swallow its ammo so that being a 2x would be even worse. Now where this monarch differs to the dictator is in a couple of ways. The Dictator only comes in a 3x variant and a 6x variant and also the way in which they shoot. The Dictator shoots its pellets in a horizontal line tightening up when you aim which means unless you're at a real close range getting them to all hit a single target which isn't the size of Grave Ward is a challenge in itself. The Monarch shoots its pellets in a much tighter group. Although not perfect it's just miles better in my opinion than that what we see of the Dictator. It's just much much easier to hit a single target when you're aiming at it and all shots hitting that target. Now the Monarch is also an all round much more powerful weapon, considerably more powerful too. So it is good on paper, it's better than its older brother on paper, but is it actually any good when it comes down to what it's all about? And the simple answer to that is, yes, yes it is. In fact this weapon is stupid powerful for what it is. I mean you can see in the background now within Mayhem 10 Slaughter Shaft and to be honest with you guys it felt like I was playing on like a Mayhem level 5, that's how powerful this thing is. The only letdown it has though is what I mentioned earlier is the fact of how quick this thing consumes its ammo. But if you can sort that problem out, which is kinda hard on Zayn, but the Vault Hunters do have their perks, we have a top tier assault rifle here people, 100% on that. It also shreds bosses which is great to see as not many assault rifles are capable of such devastating DPS. So out of the 8 Mayhem 6 or above exclusive legendary weapons so far, this is by far the best I have used and like I said it comes off in all elements too, at a couple of different variants. So there is loads to be achieved with this weapon. So yes people, Killer Vault's Mayhem 6 or above exclusive drop is a Monarch and it's well worth your time trying to farm this thing and land that perfect version up. I will state though, he seems to be kinda stingy. I farmed this dude for literally 3 hours straight and saw this drop twice, none being the variant I actually want. So credit to Silent Wraith 101 for sending me the variant I use in this video. Massive shout out to him. But on that note guys we have come to the end, if you guys enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.